half a leggin. And hello, it's Fo, and welcome back to Chad Minka's Collection Adventure. We're going to pick up where we left off from last time. Mr. Moo was getting a fed. Looking after the house. Making sure the vampire wife is well fed. Wiki's learned this thing that she's managing to resist us. So we'll try with a bunch of randoms, but she's got work soon. So we we'll feed her a couple of plasma fruit. And we we'll test out the old plasma pack, hoping that it's going to get us somewhere. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do nearly anything. Ted gets promoted one step closer. Getting that part of the aspiration done. Ripley still needs to raise her fabrication skill level. So we want to get her to make some rugs. That's the simplest thing to do, I think, or some eco upgrade parts. Ted's managed to get a motion bomb again. That's his thing. Just get him to drink a quirk be gone. It does get in the way when he's trying to do stuff. Starts having an emotional meltdown, it's no good. See, so yeah, like last episode, we're trying to transfer stuff out of Ted's inventory doesn't really need to do anything anymore, but he's still got a whole bunch of stuff. So we can transfer the dies over to Ripley, and then she'll be able to do some fabrication. Because little Coste can't release any songs, because she's still a teen. We've got her working through the spellcraft and sorcery aspiration. and get her the first level with each of the sages to get potion and uh, a spell out of them. But we can also raise our magic XP, chatting about magical things, doing the right interactions. Yeah, she's getting there, up to the next level. Be able to read more of the books at home. Unlock more perks. We'll unlock them all eventually. Doesn't really matter which order we get them done in. Yeah, we'll choose a few things for her. Make sure she speaks to everyone. Then she gets to go shopping. Certainly got plenty of cash. We're not short of a simoleon. We'll make sure she's got a wand for dueling. And a broom so she can fly around. Make things easy for her. We only need one broom and one wand. Bunch of potion ingredients. That's the easiest way for her to raise her XP. It's just by brewing at the cauldron. Something she can do without having to traipse all the way over here to the magical realm. It's a good sign. Won her first jewel. That's the second one, but hey. Cursed. It's a good thing we have the potion of cursed cleansing. So drink that and get another curse. <laughs> oh, double curse, that's that's real bad. <laughs> yeah, not sure whether the first potion didn't work. Don't know if it wasn't good quality or whatever. We do have a second one.
Thankfully that sorts it out. Okay, I'll do a few more jewels. Try to get some extra stuff. Managed to make it onto the next level of the aspiration. I come home, sort everybody out. Spare crystals. I don't think we need to worry about only selling the Mon Batu for the credits. Because we certainly don't need those either. I don't think we can buy the last two hilts that we need to complete the collection. I'm not sure if we can spar for them either. I'm getting the impression that uh, we'll need to fight Ben Swallow to try and get one and ready for the other one. Battling, we only seem to be getting crystals, no hilts at all. It doesn't fill me with confidence that dueling is the way forward. So Ripley manages to break the fabricator. It gives Costi an opportunity to do a repairio. She can get back on it. Send Ted back over to Batu. It's pretty good with a lightsaber. But it's all just crystals that we're getting. Not even a duplicate hilt. Yeah, I'm losing two in a row, that's no good. Although the notification comes up saying we just won credits, it doesn't mention anything about lightsaber parts. We'll get heaps of crystals from it. Yeah, I'm not sure this is the way to get the last two things we need. I keep at it. Time between going to work. When I'm coming to look around to look for Ben Swallow, see if I can have a duel with him. It's not there. Must be in his bed. So we come back and give it a go. But again, it's just crystals. More and more convinced that we need to find the heroes and the villains. We'll find Ray and Kylo. Maybe they might have the last ones. Hopefully, we're not going to have to get the resistance level back up <laughs> to get the other one. We'll pop out a few things from the household inventory. We've got a fabricated rug. We've also got a water collector. I don't know where we got that from. Put down the rug. I do want to make space for the water collector. If it can make the bills cheaper and make us self sufficient. Pretty sure that was the only thing standing in our way of self sufficiency. It's a little bit of water collection. Yeah, I don't know how we got it. Probably as a reward for one of their eco things. Why not? Yeah, Ted's managed to get a motion bomb again for no good reason. Someone that he once spoken to has passed away. And it happens a lot when you live forever. I'm getting short of quirk be gone at this rate. Got a begrudge paying for them. Because it happens so often. Just gets it back so frequently. Stanza's doing well at becoming a, a frog wrangler, <laughs> frog breeder, <laughs> plasma pack creation expert. Got these strange trees deciding to plant them. I don't know if 
know, someone's come in and planted apples. And they've magically grown, I don't know. Or the game is just confused, it's just a new quirk. <laughs> All the time there's something new. So we've got Ripley in the range to try and get promoted up to the next level. Bills are coming in. From 700,000 down to 400,000 for the perks. So we managed to get everyone some satisfaction points. And everyone managed to chip in to get the household bills reduced. That's good. So the voting lines have closed. That's a nightmare. We need to go through the repeal thing. Too busy focused on everything else. Remove something before we can vote. And convince someone to vote. So I can finish off the aspirations. But we can complete another one of Ted's aspirations. Or get him onto the next bit. Once Ripley reaches level 10 in the career. And all these things simultaneously. Get Ted to put back in the knitting stuff in the vacuum into his inventory. There's these two strange blue balls that don't identify themselves. They seem to have appeared next to the items that we put them down. Don't know if they're balls of yarn or whatever. Strange. <laughs> I've got another model that we haven't popped out. Got clone a table. Have to put some of the Star Wars stuff out. We did pop out the two droids before, but they came back with us whenever we went to Batu. Just in case they were needed. So I'll wait until we've got all the Batu collectibles and we're not going back before we pop out the droids displayed in the little museum area again. So I use some magic to copy and paste <laughs> the quirk be gone so that we don't have to pay for any more. Say we can definitely afford it to pay for them legitimately. But I don't see why we should need to take one every day or so. <laughs> it's just too frequently. Seems to get stroppy all the time and get in motion bomb. Yeah, we're still tidying up for them. interest in that's more comparable to what the bills are. Should be back to making money. Gonna pop a million in the vault. Yeah, it's probably the richest sim ever. I actually made the money. <laughs> Only cheated to give him nothing in the beginning. <laughs> Ripley manages to get a promotion as Ted tries to get some lightsaber hilts in earnest. I do like the battle and it is cool. It takes a little bit too long. A magic duel takes, I don't know, 30 seconds, 45 seconds maybe. Lightsaber duels take almost two minutes. <laughs> it's excessive. It's cool, but it's excessive. Again, Kylo is nowhere to be seen. Come over and look to see if we've got Ray, but she's not over here either. Tried to go and open a crate. There's no point in doing it in the first order, stealing from them when I'm aligned to them. So I try to open up a crate in the resistance place, but uh, people come along and decide they want to fight. They kept waking back up. Like one would wake up and I'd have to fight them, and then the other one would wake up and 
So I end up giving up and not even getting into a crate at all. <laughs> I come home, he's got a motion bomb again for no reason. Yeah, drink a quirk, be gone, it's fine. Sell off some more crystals. Yeah, not worried about being precious, we're getting the space bucks for them. <laughs> This sent us a, a simi, but we don't need that. Yeah, back home. Sort out the vampire wife. Try and get the kids to work on their respective skills. Get costly brewing potions. Get Ripley working on fabrication and logic. It's a lottery. Of course, everyone will go into it. Get four entries. How exciting. Still not going to win. Has Have any of you ever won the lottery in the Sims? <laughs> Has it ever happened? It hasn't happened to me. So we've got this pop up again. And when we hold our ground this time, Finally, it's rewarding Ripley. Every other time it was like a medium loss. The people backed out. Ted gets his promotion. Working his way towards level 10. Yeah, we'll try and not forget about the rest of them. Costy painting this beautiful mural, so she's not taking up one of the easels. Though the Costanza can work on painting, so she can try and get her promotion. Clearing up some dust bunnies makes her disappear. <laughs> yeah, Ripley manages to get up to level eight for the logic. Got another rogue apple tree appearing from nowhere. This area is kind of cursed for no reason. <laughs> Getting strange plants appearing. Make sure things are aligned okay and they can still get through. Take down the decorations. Lower the stress on the game in any way that I can. <laughs> doing everything right with these pop-ups so hopefully with any luck she can go up to the next level Ted's facing the same thing can stand the ground with him as well and it works out for him as well so don't know why the game didn't reward us for it the two times before we've had it on it. Ted's getting up there. He's a master inventor. He's got to level 10, but we still have to go through that repeal thing. <laughs> yeah, we won't be able to vote until next time. Quit this job. We don't need it anymore. Ripley gets her level up at the same time as Costi becomes a spellcaster master. Sounds great. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep everybody working on it. Try and get them up to their next promotion. Got Costanza reading the charisma book. Trying to level up there. Click on the Robovac, but the Robovac's out. And just out of curiosity, click on the settings button. See, there's an auto clean. Wow, if this works, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> there's this triangle of dust bunnies appearing. And the second we come out of it, another one appears. We'll come back next time and pick up where we left off from. Till then, do take it easy. I'll see you still in the next one.